All right, welcome back. Uh, sorry that took a minute. I had a lot of stuff that I had to do. So, um, we're back, and uh, we're gonna go through this one, the Cyber Fiends. Now, I'll admit this one was made purely for fun because the Cyber Ogre cards. I have never gotten to actually use those, and will you please respond if you make me reboot? I swear. Where the hell my accent just go right there? The game's probably gonna make me reboot. Jesus Christ. Mm. One sec, I'll be right back. Okay, you don't want to even know how long that took. Alright, so... In this deck by our Cyber Fiends, I did want to make use of the Panzer Dragon, and this guy! So, what we're running in here, don't do that to me, is of course the Armored Dragon, better known as a Chaz Princeton's thing from the GX series. I just limit it to the upper versions. A Cyber Arch Fiend. Hey, look, it's the Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, because why not? This dude. The Cyber Ogres, because, of course. Cyber Espers. Cybernetic Cyclopean, who honestly is kind of a pain. Metal Zoa. Red Eyes. Gilgarth, if I'm pronouncing that fully right. Giga Gaga Giga. I dare someone to say that five times fast. Yes, I know he's not technically cybernetic here, but, I mean... I felt like I needed the whole set. I mean, here, look! <laughs> Zoa! You know, I feel like there's something else I need to add to this, so give me a second. Uh, while this does, the, does its thing... There we go. Because I do have a card in here that relates to this character. I just need to find it. Here we go. There's a strong chance I might get it out, and since it's technically connected, I may as well put it in, even though I really am not good at XYZ summons. Like, at all. I consider it a miracle when I can actually pull it out. But yeah. Okay, that should be good. Now, uh, we also have, of course, because we got some high levels in here, we have the Soul Exchange and the Cost Down, which are, like, perfect for any kind of deck involving high levels. Two polymerizations for these two guys. This Ancient Rules, because, again, we got a lot of high-level normals. Always useful. Level up for the, uh, dragons. And piled it through with Metal Morphs, a Shiver Shadow Gardener, just because I might need that. And this Byroad Sacrifice that I only put in here, really, because it's connected to the Cyber Ogre, and that was what the base of this was. Our, fat, our, star, our ability is Restart, which, if you don't know, allows you to uh, get a new hand. Alright. Pretty much get a new hand, if if your hand actually sucks, which it probably will. So let's see what we got here. Okay, I might be able to pull this off because I have a lot of normal monsters. God, Joey's face right there. Joey and Tristan have some epic faces. I'm sorry when it comes to make some epic faces. <laughs> okay, I go second. Am I banking on getting out Metal Zoa or uh, Metal Dragon? No, but... Not yet. Okay, so... You down here. You right here, and hope to God I don't get screwed. Ugh. 
Am I gonna get screwed? Entirely likely. Yep. I'm possibly gonna get screwed. Yep. Uh, honey, please shut up. This is gonna screw me over, I'm aware of this. Yep, I just didn't play that right. I should have hit actually used restart from the beginning. I will admit this. I thought I had a better chance. Oh well. Let's see. Can I do better? What do you got? I ain't going after that immortal stuff. Nope! Nope, nope, nope. All the nope, 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 nope. I guess I can give this a shot. Mm. Restart effect is kind of a pitch. Why did I put that as the thing? Oh, right. I was trying new things. No, I think we're okay right now. Okay, this I can work with here. This I have one Cyber Ogre, so I can definitely use By Road Sacrifice if needed. Okay, someone tell me what is... Is that a... Out of curiosity, is... Is that the Black Tyranno or something? I don't know. Hmm. That's the only thing I really don't like about this deck is because against this. It takes so long with summoning those stupid things. And nope, I know I'm going to be looking at something that's going to be a problematic, so I ain't going there. Forgot that it does that. This didn't work in my favor. Uh, 
Let's see. What can I do? I should have put the metal mold down. I'll admit this. Well, this game just ended badly. Eh, sure, let's go, let's torture myself a little more. Yes. Let's see if this gets me a better hand. <clears throat> All right. I'm confused. What? Okay, did they change something here where I can't actually use this card now? Because, I mean, that is a level 5 or higher normal monster right there. I mean, I am looking at that. <sighs> I don't understand. I would really rather not take the chance, so. Okay. Thank God. Uh, yes. Why not? All right. Am I extremely grateful that I at least got to end out this deck test? With a with a win, <laughs> proving that this isn't a complete failure. <laughs> hey, sir. Dog. I didn't know dogs get hairballs. All right, so this deck needs work. I mean, let's be real here. 
Because, uh... <laughs> Those first two duels were pretty mythic-level shit shows, let's be honest. <laughs> Alright, so... So, uh... We're gonna move on and test out the Phantom Fleet. I really might need to change that thing it's got at the end there, but sure. So, uh, I'll be back in a minute, and we'll go with there. See ya.